Good morning. It is a leftovers breakfast burrito meal this morning. So I have a little bit of refried beans. Not <laughs> really enough to probably taste on two burritos, but I'm going to use it up. And then, I'm not going to have eggs this morning. This is just going to be a beef and cheese with a little bit of bean uh, burrito. It's kind of late in the morning, so no eggs this morning. But... I know this doesn't look very appetizing, <laughs> but this is the star of the show. So I want to, this is canned ground beef, and um, I'll show you what it is, and I'll drain off a lot of that oil and just use the beef, but this is Keystone ground beef, and it's fully cooked. Um, no water added, so that's got to be in the meat and, and oil, and no preservatives. What I love about this is beef and sea salt. That is all that's in this can. This is a 28 ounce can, so it is um, a pound and 12 ounces. That's a lot of ground beef. And um, it's not the cheapest, but if you consider it, it's cooked and it's shelf stable, that is a win-win situation. So if you're in a hurry, you want something good to eat, you can just open this up. Um, I did find this at a Walmart. Um, it's I've never seen it except one Walmart, and I look for it quite often. You can get it on Amazon, um, which I've not done, but um, you can get it there. So, anyway, that is what this is. And this is leftover. This is probably less than a half a can. And what I'm going to show you what I made with it the first time. This is leftovers for supper tonight. And it is a homemade chili mac, which I made with the other part of this can. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Super easy. Um, it'll be in an upcoming video. I will do this again. But it's super easy. But for breakfast, let's have a beef and bean cheese burrito. I'm going to put a little bit of that oil. Ooh! <laughs> I already got my pen. Wow. Got my pen too hot. That's alright. Turn it down. Turn the heat down. Since it has sea salt, I'm just going to spice it up with a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, some pepper, nothing special. Sammy says, mmm, sounds good, smells good. Add in the leftover Free fried beans. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to be able to taste that really a bit. But we don't want to waste it. Mix that in. So I didn't have a lot of refried beans, but I still have some refried beans, dehydrated refried beans that I love to buy. And that's how I make my refried beans by the dehydrated so that'll thicken it up some let that cook for a little bit it's thickening up i had mentioned that this isn't the most cheapest um can of beef but for over a pound a pound and 12 ounces uh you saw how much 
chili mac was left over, which Deborah and I ate one meal. So we're going to get another meal out of that tonight. And then this is breakfast. So we're going to end up getting three meals. Well, serving two people. So that's really six meals out of that one can. And um, so pretty, pretty economical in that respect. All right. I'm going to call that good and move that off the heat and heat up some tortillas. How about a bean and beef burrito for breakfast? Add a little cheese. Breakfast delivery. That's right. Breakfast delivery. All right. <laughs> There's Bendo. <laughs> Be careful. You need some milk. Nah. Ah. <laughs> Bandit's head. <laughs> Bandit well, you, says, I like it. What do you think? It is so good. I can't believe this is canned beef. How yep. awesome is that? Canned hamburger meat. That's crazy. Isn't that good? That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Bandit, you, you like it too, don't you? Sammy does. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. Gouda stuff. Look at that. Mm hmm. Pretty good. 